Mr Speaker, this morning the Business Secretary toured the TV studios arguing that the turmoil in the markets has nothing to do with her budget. <laughs> Does the Prime Minister agree with him? Well, Mr Speaker, what we have done is we have taken decisive action. We have taken decisive action to make sure that people are not facing right. energy bills of £6,000 for two years. And I think we remember the opposition is only talking about six months. Mr Speaker, avoiding the question, yeah. ducking responsibility, yeah. lost in denial. No wonder investors have no confidence in her government. And this is why it matters. A few weeks ago, Zach and Rebecca from Wolverhampton were all set to buy their first home. Then the government's borrowing spree sent interest rates spiralling and their mortgage offer was withdrawn. I met them last week. They're back to square one. He has refused to confirm whether or not he backs our energy price guarantee for two years, which protects families not just this winter, but next winter. What we're seeing, Mr Speaker, is we are seeing interest rates rising globally. We are doing, they are rising globally in the face of Putin's appalling war in Ukraine. And what we are doing is helping people with lower stamp duty, helping people with their energy costs, reducing inflation with our energy package and keeping taxes low. And I notice that the honourable gentleman had a Damascan conversion last night when he backed our cut to national insurance. There's no point trying to hide it. Everyone can see what has happened. The Tories went on a borrowing spree, sending mortgage rates through the roof. They are skyrocketing by £500 a month. And for nearly two million homeowners, their fixed rate deals are coming to an end next year. They're worried sick, and everybody in this House knows it. They won't forgive. They won't forget, and nor should they. No. Yeah. When will she stop ducking responsibility, do the right thing, and reverse her kamikaze budget, which is causing so much pain? I notice that the Leader of the Opposition is still not saying whether or not he supports our energy price guarantee. This is, this is very relevant, Mr Speaker, because it is the biggest part it is the biggest part of our mini budget. It's the biggest part of the mini budget. During her leadership contest, the Prime Minister said, and I quote her exactly, I'm very clear, I'm not planning public spending reductions. Is she going to stick to that? Absolutely. Absolutely. What we are, look, Mr. Speaker. Mr Speaker, we are spending we are spending almost a trillion pounds of public spending. We were spending 700 billion back in 2010. What we will make sure is that over the medium term the debt is falling. But we will do that not by cutting public spending, but by making sure we spend public money well.